Okay, I'm going to attempt to prove that the product of any even integer and any odd integer is even. So let me write that out. So we have this theorem, this idea that the product of an even int and odd int is even. Okay, and how can we express this in quantified logic? Um, let me use a different color to do that. Well, let's say that x is some even integer and that y is some odd integer and we want to prove that that's even. Um, now the definition of an even integer is that it has to be equal to some 2k. So if x were an even integer, we would write x equals 2k, where k is some number that exists if, if within the domain of integers, okay? So that's what this here is saying. And just to clarify, um, this is what we mean. This is, we're going to set x equal to an even integer and y equal to an odd integer. So yeah, we want to express this, this theorem in terms of quantifiers so we can figure out, you know, what is it exactly that we're proving? So let's grab this color here. Um, this means for all for all x. Now I'm going to use the same color as x, so that's clear what I'm talking about. And then we'll use the green for y for all x and for all y within the domain of integers because we're talking about all the integers here um, there exists oops there exists some k such that x times our y is equal to 2k. Um, I know this is a little bit confusing because I opted to use the blue for x and for 2k, but um, oh, and another thing is that this k also exists within the domain of integers. k is just some constant, essentially. So the translation of this theorem here into quantified logic looks something like this. For all x and for all y within the domain of integers, there exists some k such that x times y is equal to 2k, our definition of even. Okay, so yeah, we're trying to prove that the product of two integers, an even and an odd, is even. Um, so let's do just that. So we have our definition of an even number, and we're going to use that. That's going to be our axiom, um, one of our axioms. The other one's going to be our definition of an odd number, in which we try and prove that the product of those two is even. Um, so let's rewrite uh, some stuff. Let's rewrite our definition uh, for what an even integer is. So let's let x equal 2k by definition of even. Okay? And then let's let 
y equal 2l plus 1 by def of odd. OK. Now, let's actually just multiply these. So I'm going to take a color for x. Oops. And then I'm going to take our color for y. And that's multiplying them together. And we're going to say, oh, 2k times 2l plus 1. 2l plus 1. And now let's distribute that out. I'm going to pick another color. And that whole thing is going to be equal to, so we're going to multiply the first term and the last term times this, this number here. So that's going to be 2k, sorry, 4kl. Oops. Four K L plus two K. Bring it down a bit. Okay, so it looks like we're writing on white paper now. Okay, so it's equal to four K L plus two K. And let's factor out this two that they're sharing. Uh, just because it, it's going to look nicer for us in terms of algebra. And we'll do 2 times 2kL plus k. So I actually need to leave that parenthesis in there. Plus k. And remember, this whole thing is equal to xy. So let me rewrite x times y is equal to 2 2kl plus k. Now what are we trying to prove? Remember we're trying to prove that the product of uh, an even integer, that's x, and an odd integer, y, is equal to an even integer. Now this already is actually in the form of an even integer because 2 times some stuff in here. This can all be thought of as evaluating to some constant. Um, it, and this is the definition for an even integer. So we can actually stop right here and we can say, you know, QED. You know, this is the, the symbol for that, which is some Latin phrase that means we've, we've proven what we set out to prove. And I mean, let's go up and look at our theorem. that the product of an even int and odd int is even. And here, this 2k is equal to the definition of even. And we have basically that, 2 times some shit in here, which is k. Or you can think of it as k. Now, if you actually want to like make this look a little bit more formal, let me delete my uh, proof symbol. Hold on. then you can let this whole thing equal some variable. So let's just say, um, we'll just say let, let um, v equal to k l plus k. Now we can rewrite our expression above. As that. And now it's very clear that this is 2 times some variable, which is our definition of an, an even int. And we've proved it. QED 
You can even draw that little box that means you proved something. Okay? So that's the whole proof. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks.